put prophecy to work. And when you don't, you are despising it. First Timothy 4.14 Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. In other words, prophecy also gives us information about what you have. When you prophesy to people, you also are able to give them information about what they have. Prophecy opens people to see what is available to them in the spirit that they are not aware of. And so you hear people prophesy like, oh, glory to God. Can't you see? Can't you see? Look around. Can't you see? Oh, I have been waiting for you for long now to walk in this glory that is already in you. So, by prophecy, I am making you aware of a glory that is inside you that you should have been walking in. Now, when that prophecy comes, suddenly that enablement comes alive and you start walking in that glory. The things of the spirit. The things in the spirit. So through prophecy, we give people information about what is available to them. Prophecy brings information about what is available. Prophecy can give you information about the call of God in your life. The call of God in your life. So sometimes when we prophesy, we notify people of what God is doing in their lives. We notify people about what God is doing in their lives. First Timothy chapter 1 verse 18 observe first timothy this charge i commit unto this son timothy according to the prophecies which went before on thee that thou by them mightest war a good warfare there is prophecy that went before on thee now by those prophecies you war a good warfare those prophecies did not come by Timothy. They came by other people. And they gave him an information that can give him direction. Prophecy will give you an information that will give you direction. Information that will give you direction. So prophecy can carry preaching and teaching. And prophecy can also carry an information or prediction that you can use. Was to magnify God among before the people. The key thing about prophesying is that it magnifies God before the people. Prophecy brings glory to God. Prophecy does not magnify the man prophesying. It magnifies God. Once you begin to see prophecy bringing attention on the person prophesying more than on God, something does not add up. When you speak forth by the Holy Ghost, it magnifies God. In the New Testament, he calls prophecy a gift of the spirit you don't wait for the spirit to come he already lives in you so you carry the inspiration with you and you use it at will he doesn't come come holy spirit i need you get born again come in your strength and your power get born again come in your own special way how special he's not coming he came and he will never leave Glory to God. Are you still here? If you're here, can I have a good amen? amen. Say with me, the spirit lives in me. Amen. amen. An endowment. That's what you have. The word charisma. In the Greek, is similar to an ability. Charisma. Something that is now a part of you. Because in Joel's prophecy, said, his prophecy said, and they shall prophesy. Who shall prophesy? They. Who shall prophesy? You. And they say, I shall prophesy. Say, I prophesy. Say, I will prophesy. Say, I will always prophesy. You don't have to wait for the spirit to come. The spirit lives in you. So you can prophesy at will. I will prophesy. I will sing in the spirit. I will sing with my understanding. They shall prophesy. That means the people to whom God gave the spirit will have the ability ability to prophesy so don't receive you don't receive inspiration from heaven to prophesy you have been given utterance that utterance is the ability you have already somebody shout i have utterance in the holy ghost right now you don't wait and then when the atmosphere is conducive let us charge the atmosphere so that the spirit of prophecy can come the holy ghost fire is moving just like a magnet mm. The Holy Ghost power is moving just like a magnet. Moving here, moving here, like in the days of Pentecost. The Holy Ghost power is moving like, oh yes, I'm feeling it. It's coming now. Again, he lives in you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. 
Glory to God. Glory to God. Say, I don't need an atmosphere. I am the atmosphere. Oh, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Somebody say, you know, let, let, let's create an atmosphere. No, once I enter a place, the atmosphere is created. See, I carry my atmosphere. Anywhere I enter, the atmosphere is created. I prophesy at will. Hey. At salvation, you have already received the spirit. That is sorted. So prophecy or prophesying is now a function of the supernatural ability that has been given to you by God already. It's, it's a function of that same ability that got you born again, which is already residential inside you. It's not going to come. You are supernaturally enabled to prophesy. Say again with me. I am supernaturally enabled to prophesy. So prophesying, say with me, prophesying is an ability I have in Christ. Tongues is potential prophecy. Speaking in tongues is potential prophesying. But it can only become prophecy when I interpret it. In other words, every time I am speaking in tongues, I have a potential to prophesy. I also have a potential to bless others. I have potentials to carry information that can give people direction or edification. I have potential to carry information that can give people edification or direction. Look at me. Years ago, many years ago, Pastor Paul Enenche, and I know so many of you know him, okay? Used to be a member of our church. He wanted to go to London to go and read medical science master's degree with his wife. But they didn't have the money and they didn't have the contact. So they came to Uyo with their letters of admission. I still have copies of the letter. And they said to me, we know you are connected in London. We have an admission. We want to go to London to read medicine. So that when we come back, master's, we can start doing rural medical outreach. So please, if you can talk to your contacts to help, even if they can give us scholarship or sponsor us. So I told them, okay, sleep in the guest, guest room. I'm going to pray about it tonight. So I got on my knees and the Lord spoke to me clearly. So I came to them in the guest room and I said, the Lord just spoke to me. You're not going to London for medical missions. You're not going to read medicine masters. The Lord told me, it's time for you to start the church. You start the church. And the church will grow. And from the church, you will build medical teams that will go for medical outreach. And then he said to me, church where? I said, I hear Abuja. I gave him information. I gave him direction. He said, but I don't have anybody in Abuja. I said to him, when you get back to Jaws, get on a bus. Go to Abuja. And as you arrive Abuja, go on evangelism. And that was it. The Dunamis church was born. Because I gave him direction. He could have gone to London and be reading medicine and miss that direction. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, he could have gone to London and read medicine and maybe lose direction. But I, I gave him direction by the spirit of God. And today that direction is a blessing in his life. Am I teaching here? Yeah. So when we, when we give people words of prophecy contains information that will bring direction that will fix the course of their entire life. That's why you don't despise it. That's why you don't neglect it. That's why you stir up yourself. You stir up yourself. Am I teaching good here? You stir up yourself. You interpret tongues and you prophesy. In other words, when I speak in tongues, I have the potential to prophesy. Tongues inspire prophesying. Tongues inspire prophesying. Say it very loud. Tongues inspire prophesying. How do I know I can do that? Because I have the spirit of God in me. How am I sure that the prophecy I'm bringing is from God? Because it's the Holy Spirit. How am I sure it's not my mind that is speaking? Because you're born of the spirit. How am I sure the prophecy will be accurate? Because the spirit of God in you is accurate. How am I sure what I spoke was right? Because you have a right spirit. How am I sure Satan will not influence my mind to say, my mouth to say something? Because Satan does not have access to your mouth. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Am I helping you? Tell your neighbor, get rid of fear. The Spirit of God is in you. Prophesy.